story at the end of the Sir Christmas? Uh, for me, probably the dove seeking the link of the seven stars. Uh, I think perhaps my favourite was uh, our performance of Silent Night yesterday in, in the Consent House in Berlin. And it was a very magical atmosphere and wonderful quiet singing during that. I'm a sucker for the dark in the bleak midwinter. <laughs> ben has smashed it. Yeah. It did. <laughs> it really did. Yeah. And one of the one of the interesting things that I did was to visit the church in a cave uh, just near the river in Budapest. Um, a fascinating place. Ah, uh, see, I wanted to see Checkpoint Charlie because I learned about it in history at school, <laughs> and so I then got to see it. Crossing over, passing through um, the remnants of the Berlin Wall because as someone who can remember it coming down, um, there was just great resonance, historical resonance for me. Um, well, mine was going to um, Budapest. It was really fun and also I'm lucky because my parents came there to watch me. Uh, Symphony Hall's always been a favourite of mine um, for, for ages. Um, the Budapest Hall is very special and actually that's where I did my first concert abroad conducting the choir 10 years ago. Um, but I suppose the, the, the greatest experience for me this time was, was the one that was new to me, singing in the concert house in Berlin. Mine was definite, definitely the Berlin concert hall because it's just so nice. Like all of the chandeliers on the ceilings and it's amazing. I can't choose between them. I think they were so uniquely beautiful. Mine was the Birmingham concert hall. Quite, quite very big and tall. The concert house was amazing. Yeah. Um, like, like amazing. Yeah. I mean, Budapest was great, um, but the Berlin concert house was just gorgeous. Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Favorite meal? Um, uh, spaghetti bolognese. Didn't have that here. Not here. Was it here? That we it has to be here. Yeah. Uh, I really enjoyed. Uh, I actually really enjoyed the hotel food. I thought it was great. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got to sneak away and get some coffee at the barn in Berlin, and it was smashing. Uh, my favorite food was the chicken curry um, at. I can't remember where it was. Yeah, that was. Yeah, and. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah my, mine was the chicken curry as well, it was very good. I have to say, I found a fabulous little place in, uh, in Berlin called Roots and Beets which did possibly one of the best salads I've ever had in my life. Uh, I had an interesting culinary experience this morning in the hotel where, with great German efficiency, there's a, there's a butter machine um, that produces uh, very neat, uh, round, you know, per perfect, uh, perfect thickness uh, slabs of butter um, for your breakfast. So that was amusing. The completely unexpected and surprising rendition of Happy Birthday uh, for my 15th birthday on uh, Saturday, which was very sweet. One thing that uh, particularly amused me, I suppose, was yesterday morning as we were flying into Berlin, just doing the final descent, and I heard a, sh heard a chorister shout out, I can see Cambridge. Just surprising. I think mine was when the one of the gents accidentally got moved up to first class on the plane by accident for some reason. Now, this is great because you got upgraded to uh, first class. Louis um, Watkins is slightly off screen. Yeah, Louis Watkins. Uh, he uh, got upgraded to first class sort of by chance because his, t his ticket number was uh, to the 25th row D. And that is the 20th of December, really Christmas, story. it's really nice, thank you. Um, and uh, we got upgraded to first class, we got to bring his friends, which is us, to, uh, to the first class lounge and got free stuff, which was really nice. I don't know, I've got it. But, uh, sorry. <laughs>